AI systems are basically trained on data. And so the quality of the data that's going into a system will determine also the quality of the output. AI actually enables us to incorporate much more richness in terms of data and information into the decisions that have to be made on a daily basis. The most important thing that businesses should be doing to prepare to take advantage of the next wave of AI that we're seeing in development is to get their data in order. I very frequently hear, oh, we have loads of data, don't worry. And then when you kind of lift off the hood, you realize you have lots of data, but it might be very disorganized. You certainly need professionals who can deal with the data. As we are working with industry partners around the world, we see that a lot of the data that we are currently using when we are developing and applying machine learning and artificial intelligence models doesn't necessarily come from ERPs or warehouse management systems or the like. Most of the time, the data that we're using is generated by human interaction. Most of the time, it is basically a recording of what humans do on the job. By working with human-generated data, we are able to extract some of the tacit knowledge of the human operator, of the driver, of the worker in the warehouse, and use that knowledge to further improve future plans. The advent of engines like ChatGPT, a form of generative AI, really offer a huge opportunity to integrate different data sources. So it might be that at the moment they're relying on sales and maybe internet traffic to maybe sense demand for a particular product, but they might be overlooking social cues, how many people are sharing a product, whether or not a product's been going viral and in which region and at what times of day. All of these various other data points and sources of data can be used used from a generative AI perspective to let AI engine make recommendations based on many more data points and factors. Another really important aspect is also to attribute meaning to data. You also need to understand it in its context. So when you think about different artificial intelligence methodologies, the last decade or two have been all around classifying and analyzing data. And that's about, I'd say, 1% of the value creation. With generative AI, you're tapping into the other 99% of the value creation. The issue of how to maintain data confidentiality is obviously a big one that needs to be resolved in order to really unblock the large-scale application of AI methods in general across the industry. If you don't have data to train models on, it's obviously going to get difficult to use these models in the future.